Studio 60. Studio 60 was my first sort of sparkly job. Um, and it was the show that every single actor in town, like every actor in town was auditioning for this. And, and um, you know, because it's Aaron Sorkin and so it was really exciting. You know, Matthew Perry had just finished Friends, Bradley Whitford had just come off the West Wing, it was Aaron Sorkin. It was a very nerve-wracking, scary uh, time. Matt? Yeah? I got into the Falstaff Society. Hey, great. Are you the first woman? I'm the 11th woman. Cool. I am the first woman from the Great Lakes region. You're quite a pioneer. I am. I'm being inducted Saturday night and I need to tell a joke. We did a lot of walk and talks on that show. Everybody was <laughs> kind of making fun of that. Uh, component of it, which was much like the West Wing and, and other Aaron Sorkin shows as well. But if there was a contraction, if it was wouldn't instead of would not, and you said would not, or if the reverse were true, there was a woman whose job it was on set. We called her the hawk. Matthew Perry called her the hawk because she would come up to you and, you know, you would have done a long walk and talk that took, you know, I don't know, it was a single take all the way down the hallway, and then you'd see Wendy like walk towards you and you're just like, oh my God. Matthew would be like, caca! Ka because you know you would think you really for for saying wouldn't instead of would not and Aaron uh, I think was a majored in musical theater or was a music major in, in college so he was he's really focused on the rhythm of something so you could always tell when he was happy or unhappy with something you had done and it was usually around the rhythm of it and the and part of the rhythm of it was designed to have every word that was there be for a very specific purpose so it was almost Shakespearean in terms of the way it was written and you just really had to learn your lines to the letter, to the comma, to the period, to the, the contractions. It was really specific. Especially because it was early. I was barely 30 years old when I did that, that show and it was sort of earlier on in my career and I had come from a sort of dry spell of not working and had been doing some theater in New York and, and um, it was, it was nerve-wracking because you don't want Aaron to not be pleased with you. And also, you do know that from, a, from an acting standpoint, you're only as good as your text. And when you have text like that, you just, you're already ahead of the game. But I think sometimes I was, when I look back and watch it, I'm like, oof, I can tell I was so scared <laughs> of, of messing up the, the lines that, that it was sometimes hard. It just felt, it, it, the whole thing felt a little nerve-wracking. But, but I also did think, wow, if they want me to be here, if I'm included in this group, then maybe, maybe I have a 